Mwike's camp looks up to a nurse for so-called reverse state crisis. As Governor Simnalai for Barrow River State continues to dismantle the political structure of Barristan Yesen Miki, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, some political allies at the camp of a former governor have set their eyes on the National Assembly for intervention. The war between Fubara and Wiki, which has already landed in the National Assembly, has created division among Rivers lawmakers and the House of Representatives. Following the decision of a cost to sack the Honorable Martin's amiably led River State House of Assembly, recall that a court removed Amewili and 27 other loyal lawmakers, rather, loyal to Wiki for defecting from the People Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress, APC, at the beginning of a crisis, paving the way for the emergence of Honorable Oko Jumbo, who is loyal to Fubara as Speaker. As Amewili and the other lawmakers await the judgment of a court of appeal, on their alleged defection to the APC, the camp of Mwiki have intensified efforts at the National Assembly to counter Fubara's smooth ride since they launched its offensive after the impeachment scare. Mwiki's men in the House of Representatives won the leadership of the House to declare a state of emergency in the state citing violence and Fubara's alleged inability to stop his supporters from staging pro protests cast the president as being partisan and could even worsen the political situation. Not only for rivers, but it could have a reverberating effect on the one in Kano. Whether we like it or not, there is also a test of power going on in Kano. There is a dilemma of sorts. There is a dilemma of sorts and the number of persons who are also very close to Mr. President are calling him to ask one of his ministers to sheath his sword. How the president handles the reverse crisis would go a long way to show his deafness in handling the delicate political situations in the country. This is a very testy one for Mr. President. He is caught between doing what is right and also not be seen to be bowing to political pressure. However, this is on the that is on the card. If the situation degenerates and reaches the in some local government secretariat against former local council chairman who wanted to remain in office even though that tenure had ended. The camp of the FCT minister is, sad to be, is said to be working with the caretaker chairman of the River State Chapter of the York Progressive Congress, APC Chief Tony Okucha, who has also called on the National Assembly to declare a state of emergency in Rivers. Okucha had at a media briefing in Port Harcourt said, River State is at war, and the dramatist personnel who are responsible for the mayhem that has claimed lives are known. The governor is helpless. The police helpless. Therefore, the APC in River State is calling for a state of emergency in River State. Redestruction of life and poverty and property, a state of emergency could be on the card. According to insiders close to the president, However, it is not something that they would do without due consultation with those that matter. He is being careful. He is still appealing to all parties and some of the governors are also appealing to the president to tell Mickey to allow Fubara to breathe. And of course, several people are also blaming Fubara for not allowing the last peace effort to come to fruition. They are also appealing to him to shoot his word. The governor's forum, they are trying to broker a peace and they believe that things should not degenerate to the level of declaring a state of emergency. Our source added, as a way of taming the mayhem and the uprising that is going on in the state. I call on the federal government to act fast in this regard, but Fubara has countered that the state and its people are enjoying an enduring atmosphere of peace to promote sustainable development, fast-paced investment and accelerated economic growth. He said in recent negative narrative that portrayed the state as immense in crisis with disrupted peace was untrue, misguided and the handwork of mischief makers. The governor said it was important that Nigerians knew of the uninterrupted peaceful atmosphere in the state because the people were going about their normal activities while governance was thriving. He stated, and to also tell Nigerians that River State is peaceful, you can see that we are moving about the expecting projects as against what you see on the screens of your television, said the police 
are everywhere, that we do not move about any more, and that River State is under siege. We are not under siege. Our state is free and peaceful. If at all there is any problem in any part of the state, I know quite well that Nigerians know where the problem is coming from, not from us, he clarified. Also, the River State Ethnic Youth Leaders Coalition, RSEYLC, has condemned the APCs for calling for a state of emergency in the state, arguing that the call was baseless and a plot by the enemies of the state to disrupt governance. The RSE, the RSEYLC, in a statement issued in Port Harcourt by its chairman, Dr. Legosi Yamabana, urged the opposition in the state to accept these and wait for 2027. The statement said, and I quote, The swift appeal to the presidency for a state of emergency exposes the malicious intent of the former chairman, assembly members, and the APC to paralyze government operations in River State. We want to make it unequivocally clear that the nefarious plans have failed and will continue to fail. We urge them on their cohort in crisis, mongering to accept the reality that His Excellency Sir Simnalai Fubara commands deep-rooted love, respect, and organic support from the people of River State. No amount of malevolent plotting can alter this fact. This is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say this, make everybody calm down. I have people in Portacourt and they have not told me that Portacourt is on fire. In fact, I spoke with them not so quite long. Why? Why wicked is this to me in YouTube? And people who are bent on helping him, how foolish can you people be? <laughs> Now, it is going to be a foolish thing for you to live in River State, breathe in River State, walk in River State. That is, you don't go outside the state, okay? Except on very rare occasions. And then, person where Abuja na we in base, go come, they tell you what he will do. You come, they light fire for that River State where you did. Check, check it. Show, 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 make sense. No, no. See, if it good, make after. If you do something, finish. You go check out. That thing, say it makes sense. Person day somewhere, we no day for where you day. Day now they throw fire, they throw brimstone. They tell you, oh yeah, do like this, do like that, just because of what. You don't do your turn, finish you. For those who are clapping and cheering, who kiss on, I beg because I know these people. So that if these people come out tomorrow, they want. They want any position. Those this kind of people not supposed to smear. They never supposed to give them. Say make them say yeah. Their their party not supposed to give them. So yeah, make them run for them at all. Because these people they not be them at all. They are not supposed to be in government for any reason. Even public service they are not supposed to be. Them. All right. On this note, you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest.